Database views form the basis of all our interactions with the underlying data of Sage CRM. The data we see on a list on a screen is based on a view. The information contained within a report or included in a mail merge has come from a view. If we want to be able to create our own reports or customizations, then we must be able to create and edit views. All interactions with views, whether to define or edit, has to be done through the Sage CRM user interface. Here you can see that I've just logged on into Sage CRM, and now I'm going to look at creating a new view. And for this, I need to go into the system administration area. And as I enter into the area, we'll see that the views are defined under entities within customization. So if I want to create a new view that will be used for a report about opportunities, then I'll need to click on opportunities. And now I can click onto the views tab. And this lists all of the views that are defined for the opportunity. The naming gives a very strong indication of each view's purpose. Do you notice that the views here also have a type? Now, core views cannot be changed. There's no option to change these within the interface. These views are fundamental to the running of the system, and any change to these may be catastrophic. System views are views used for main features of Sage CRM. It's strongly advised that you are not to alter these views. There are some views related to mail merge and reporting that you may wish to change, but whatever you change, you may get that may face uh, them getting overwritten by an upgrade. User views represent views mostly added through customizations. These are either made directly within the interface or through a component and will be associated with certain business rules that you've created or extensions to Sage CRM. And most views within the system start with the prefix V, but ones that start with M indicate that they're designed to support the mobile app. You should create your own views for customizations, including reporting, to avoid clashes with system behavior. The existing views do, however, provide exam excellent examples of how views can be defined. I'll just look at the VList opportunity now. Here you can see that the view is complex. The view joins six tables. It includes examples of the use of database functions and the creation of derived data. If you choose to edit a system view, that you'll see a very clear warning that changes to system views are not recommended. You'll also see an information message that explains that views must include reference to certain fields in order to ensure that the views will work with, security, uh, with the system security. The security system in Sage CRM is able uh, to define policies that allow a user to access a record if the record matches their territory or they originally created the record or they have been assigned the record or it is assigned to their team. All of these security policies are cumulative. In order to see a record that is returned by a view, a user must have rights on tables referenced in that view before it can access the record. For example, to see an opportunity for a company and a person, then the user must have rights on the opportunity, the company, and the person tables. I'm going to copy the SQL from this original view to allow me to create my own version of the view. Now, I cancelled out of that screen, and now I can look to create my own view. And for this, I've returned to the general customization menu for the opportunity entity and now I've returned to the View tabs. Now if I click on New, I can create my own view, and you can see that the screen is reminding me of the need to include the fields Sector, Created By, Channel ID, uh, or Assigned User ID columns for each of the primary entities referenced in this view. Now I've given the view a name, um, I've stuck with the convention and used the V prefix and made it clear that this is a custom view. I've pasted in the SQL that I copied from the original view, V list opportunity. I know that this has all of the correct columns that I need. 
and I've made this view available for use in reports. And I've also provided a translation that will provide a caption for the view when referenced from the interface. And now I'll click Save. Once saved, I can look to use the view in the reports. And so if I go into the General Reports area and I click New to start the creation of a report, my new view will be available. And the translation we defined in the screen provides the caption. The columns included in the view then become available to the users who are defining the report.